So it's time to try and print some rubber parts on our F123 printer. So we get to print with the TPU92A super durable rubber plastic material on our F series machines. So first things we'll need to get going with this is our spool material, our TP92A, our build sheet to actually build on, same as the ABS, our print head specifically for the TPU92A, the blue one. We'll need the empty box for to put our old ABS ASA print head into and the little retaining clip for holding the material tube in place. And the QSR support material, which is the exact same as the ABS material. Next, we're going to want to go to the machine and unload our spool material. If we have any material already previously loaded, we just go to the material, tell it to unload. When that's unloaded, we take our new spool material, our TPU92A, feed it in. Only feed it in and don't load it to the head yet. Okay, so now we just need to replace the print head. So we're going to take out our old black print head that's used for printing ABS and ASA materials. And we just need to remove it by unclipping it, removing the material tube, taking off the ribbon cable, and then taking the head out. And then we put that away in its box for storage because it has plenty of life on it. And we can swap these heads back and forth however many times we want. Now we take our blue TPU head, put that in, and do it all in reverse order. So now we snap the head back into position, connect the ribbon cable, add the material tube, make sure it lines up with the hole in there, and then we can take our little 3D printed bracket there to put on to keep the material tubes from jumping around as we do automatic unloads to prevent any issues. Now that we have our new head put in, we just need to load up the material. But there's one more thing you want to do before you load the material up, so don't hit that load button. What we want to do is run the automatic tip calibration. Now this is specific for TPU, but it's also good practice for a lot of the print heads. When you put the new print head in, run the automatic tip calibration before you load any material up. It helps prevent any issues that can occur during that process. Once the automatic tip calibration is done, we can go ahead and load up the material. You can see it loading up there. And then we can run the manual tip calibration. After you get your material loaded, you can go back and check the uh, tip wipes in the back. Make sure there's no TPU material, any stray material stuck there. Once we're done, now we can print all the full size parts that fit in our build chamber, full strength, TPU, any geometry shape you want, and we're ready to go.